Okay, so in this video, we're going on to uh, Vinegar Hill Finance Labs, and we're coming here to bond pricing. And I've already done some estimation in VBA C++, and we've uh, incorporated in some uh, uh, values here, uh, in terms of estimation. Um, if we, we could consider this example, uh, where the face value is a thousand, coupon rate is six percent, discount rate is five point six, the time to maturity is three years, and we go with a frequency of two. Uh, so that's coupons are paid twice uh, per year. And let's take that little snippet of code and go into our studio. So let's copy. And um, Okay, so let's, we've pasted in that segment of code and just note, I've already got uh, Deriv markets installed. Uh, that's a package, um, if we put D-E-R, this one here. And it's uh, Robert McDonald is the uh, author of this, so the, it's a quite a useful package, and it's uh, it's intended to accompany his textbook, Derivative Markets. So it's one worth looking up. And um, so I've just pasted that in. Now, if you haven't already installed this package, then you would have to remove the pound sign here and then just run the first uh, command. I've already got the package installed. That's why it appears here in the packages. And then we, to include that in our library, uh, again, that's already, let's say we hadn't uh, attached it here. Uh, if we wanted to attach, then we would run and you would note that that's equivalent to including in the library. So we've attached that package and then we load in the data. So we're going to say specifically $60 coupon, uh, maturity is three years. The frequency is, okay, we're going with twice a year. The principal is 100. Let's go with once a year. And the value then of the bond, the present value of the bond would be 1,010.77, consistent with results we used before. So what we're going to uh, get here is the bond price. Uh, the, the yield to maturity, uh, the duration where it's not modified, where we have modified duration and convexity. Okay, so let's run. Primarily, primarily we're going to look at here just getting the bond price. Uh, so let's run. We're naming the value associated with the present value of the bond, uh, we're naming that price. So that's uh, saved in the global environment. And you can see here price appears at 101077. And then if I run again, we get the value of the bond at 101077. Now that's consistent with what we had before. What if I change this to two and go back? Then you'll notice that when I run here again, the uh, frequency will change from one to two. So let's run that. Okay, so now you can see the frequency is twice a year, the coupon occurs. We want to estimate the present value of the bond and we're going to attach that to this uh, variable called price. And then to see what the price is, we can just run the command for price. And you can see here we get a thousand and ten ninety. Then if we go back into um, the portal, just for a moment, um, and we go back to the value that we had looked at before for twice a year. If the frequency is two times a year, the, the coupon gets paid twice a year. The value of the bond is 1010 uh, 91. So we've rounded up here to two decimal places and that's consistent with the result we had just obtained in uh, our studio. 1010, uh, 90 or 91 if we round up. Now also we have the yield 
if we know the coupon, the maturity, the price is equal to this price, uh, the principal or the face value and the frequency, we can deduce what the internal rate of return is or the yield to maturity. And that's equal to 5.6 and that's as we would expect. And then we have two S, two, the modified duration and then the, are the, the unmodified and the modified duration. So let's just run that. For a moment, 2.79, 2.79 and convexity. So those are all useful outputs. Uh, and, and in the next section, we will have a look at uh, duration and interpret our duration result.